Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now this will be the first official video back for 2023. Welcome to the new year. I'm so happy that you're here. And what better way to start off the new year than with a haul from one of my favorite stores of all time and a little bit of a review of Aerie and American Eagle. I would say 99% of the stuff is from Aerie because we all know I love them. Now I have a whole bunch of new arrivals I got some things that are a little bit different than stuff that I usually wear just to try them out things that look really cute and I do feel like my style kind of changes a little bit with each new year as does everybody's as we grow and try new things so this year I really want to try a bunch of new stuff that I haven't tried before and just see what I like now like always I will link specifically each thing that I'm wearing down in the description box. And I will also include what size I'm wearing and my sizing information down there. That way, based on my sizing and your sizing, you can make a judgment about what size you might like to get for yourself. Now, in general, I got a size medium in pretty much everything except for a couple tops. I got a size small and I got a short size where available in the pants that I got. So let's get right into it with this first little outfit. Now, these pants are are not something that I usually would buy for myself. I just lowered you down a bit so you can really see, but these are a flare pant, but they're like this brown color and they are a little bit stretchy, but they're not like a legging or a jogger material. They're like a very thick, almost like the beta brand dress pant yoga pants. If you've ever tried those, they're very, very high waisted. So if you're looking for something like low waisted, this is not that. <laughs> the flare on these is really, really cute. I love that they're like very tight to the ankle and then actively flare out after that. They're not like a boot cut or anything or like a straight leg. I do feel like I have a little bit of camel toe in these. It is what it is. That doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, I would maybe consider sizing up. I did see a lot of reviews that said that these fit really, really tight. Now I got the medium short, which is my usual size and I don't feel like they're too tight necessarily, but I definitely do have some camel toe action that if I had have got a size large, I might not have. Now, I like how these look, but I don't know that I love the color. And we'll see, I'll throw on a different top to see if maybe that helps it in a minute. But I think that they're very cute pants. I like how they look on my bum. I like that they have the nice big pockets on the back. I wish that it also had some pockets on the front. And I just feel like the color kind of comes off as like khaki, but like mixed with green. And I don't don't know that I own anything that's going to look like super good with these. So we'll have to see. Now next up we have this little halter top. I adore this. Everything about this is perfect to me. It is a super, super soft material. It's double lined and it has a little bit of a built-in shelf bra. So it's super comfy to wear. It doesn't have any support necessarily. I got it in a size medium. I maybe should have got size small. So there was a bit more support. It has a little bit of a racer back and then it's obviously just super cropped. They had this in so many different colors and a lot of them were really, really cute. I went with this like like sea green one. Love the color. I think it looks incredible. But I do also think that you could try this in many other colors and it would also look really cute. So if you're getting anything else, I would definitely recommend this. And I got it on sale for under $20. So just keep your eye out for a good sale. And this is one of those things that you could just stock up on a few. This sweater, obviously very, very cute. And we'll talk about it in a minute. But just like as a comparison, I thought maybe the white and brown would look a little bit better with the pants. I still feel very iffy about the color of the pants. I think for me, I wear a lot of color in my wardrobe, in particular, a lot of like bright, pinks, deep greens, a lot of purples, a lot of orange. And I just don't think any of those are going to look super good with a pair of pants like this. I really wish I originally was going to get white and I think white actually would have looked really cute with a lot of different things that I owned and a lot more neutral, but they were sold out. So I was like, well, I'll take a risk and try these. I think unfortunately the color just doesn't quite work for me. So I will likely have to return them but that's okay. So this sweater is the Offline by Airy Chenille sweater. If you have ever had anything chenille before, you will know what this feels like. It feels incredible. Absolutely so soft, so cuddly and cozy. Now this does have thumb holes, 
but the sleeves are still more than long enough that you don't have to use those. Like you could just have your hands through the sleeves and be nice and warm and not have to worry about using the thumb holes if you don't like them. Now this is obviously like a color block and they did have this in a couple other colors as well. I'm pretty sure there was like a blue and black one that was pretty cute. And then obviously this one, which is like a white and then like an oatmeal color. I really like this. Obviously it is just a basic, <laughs> it's a basic sweater. It is a very, very, very soft, super comfy. This is the type of sweater that is going to actually keep you warm as well. I live in Canada and I need all the warmth I can get. And just for how soft this is, no matter what it looked like, I would wear it. And as soon as I saw that it was like a chenille sweater, I was like, I'm just gonna pick one up and I will 100% keep this and I will be wearing it all winter long. And as a better example of how I will actually wear this sweater, I have some of the offline Real Me leggings. These are the burgundy ones. And I picked up a new pair because my burgundy ones are starting to get really, really rough. And they had a very good sale on. I've said it before and I'll say it again, never buy the Airy Real Me leggings at full price. You can always get them for like half off or more on sale. And these leggings are amazing. They are just as comfy to me as my Lululemon Aligns at like a third or less of the price when they're on sale. They are a high rise. They do make crossover versions if you like a crossover waist better or these just like standard high waisted ones. This is the short length and on me it's like the absolute perfect length. If you're taller, don't get the short. I think that they are meant to be more of like a seven eighths style legging, but obviously the short is pretty much like a full length on me and I'm around five foot one. And I think with a big oversized sweater, these are actually the perfect leggings for anything. And I know that this is not like a trendy outfit by any means, but you will be so comfy in this. If you're just going to like a little family or friend dinner, or you're having some people over for a glass of wine or to watch a TV show, nothing beats this. You're gonna be perfectly comfortable. And these are the types of leggings that you will have for years because they last a really long time. Now these next two things that I got are both very out of my comfort zone. So first off we have just one of these like big, I'm gonna call it almost like a shacket, but maybe a little bit thinner than what people would usually get. And I didn't get like a little t-shirt to wear under this. So we're just gonna do it with like a bra, but I'm just not 100% sure how often I would really wear this. Now I got this in a size small because it said that it was oversized and when you're very short, oversized things look 10 times bigger because they're just way too long. So my thing with this, even in the size small, it's incredibly long on me. Obviously goes down way under my bum. I like the color. I got this like corally orange color and I think that it's cute, but I do wonder if it just looks like a pajama top. Like I can see how it would be cute maybe in like a more neutral color, but once again, I don't wear a lot of neutral colors. So I was like, well, at least if I get it in like a bright color, I might be more likely to wear it, but I just don't know what outfit I would wear with. So definitely let me know if there's a way that you think that I could style this with something that would make it maybe a little bit more elevated. I don't wear jeans super often because I usually can't find ones that fit me properly, but I just feel like this looks a little bit too oversized, a bit too boxy and isn't really doing anything for me. And I already have a couple like cute, like I have a pink strawberry print like denim jacket that I feel like I would reach for way more often than this. But like I said, let me know how you think I should wear it. And I'm happy to like give it another try because like I don't feel like this is necessarily the right outfit with just like a little pair of leggings. I do think that it needs a bit more than this. Now, one of the things I was literally most excited for when I placed this order was this little pair of shoes. I have very small feet, I wear a size five. I have a hell of a time finding shoes and these came in size five. And from the front, they just look like regular little like Converse, but they are split color, which I think is really cute. Two different shades of pink. They have a platform and then they also have like cute little hearts on the back. And God knows I love pink and I love a cute little heart moment. These are freaking adorable. 
Now, like I said, I wear a size five. That's the size that I got and they fit good. They fit really comfortably. I feel like they fit slightly big and they don't do half sizes. So if you're like between a size, I would probably opt to size down unless you're gonna wear really, really thick socks in them. Like I tried them on with thick fluffy socks and they're still like ever so slightly too big, but I'll just make sure I always wear like thick trail socks when I'm wearing them. And I'm thrilled. I think that they look absolutely so adorable. And I realize a lot of people are not gonna like them, but I like them, so that's all that matters. For the last little outfit, I had to get one of their marshmallow sets because even just the name, I was like, I know that that's gonna be perfect for me. But I also picked up this little pink hat. Now, once again, I'm sure that you've noticed, I really love the color pink. Anything pink, I think that it's just so cute and fun. And I have a few different winter hats. They're pretty much all white. I feel like that's just the color that's easiest to get. This one, obviously very bright pink and I think it's cute. It's also comically thin. This is a winter hat for somebody who lives somewhere where it doesn't actually get cold. And it gets very cold here and like I walk my dog rain or shine whether it's snowy and cold or not. So I don't think that this is gonna cut it, unfortunately. But if you're just looking for like a very cute, bright pink hat with like a little pom-pom, I think it is very adorable. It's just maybe not made for like very cold weather. Wind will definitely blow through this. Your ears are still getting cold. So now we have the little marshmallow set. Now they had this in a couple different colors and they also had it in like some stripey patterns, but it's just a little like mock neck, very, very fuzzy top. And you can see the texture, very soft and fuzzy. This one is in dark gray, long sleeve top. It is pretty cropped. It hits me above the belly button, but like just barely. And then also a pair of fuzzy pants. Now I love a comfy matching set. I have a different set from Aerie that I absolutely love in white and I wear it all the time and post pictures in it on Instagram all the time because I just love it. This one is still very very soft which is nice super warm, but I think maybe I just don't love the gray quite as much as I loved the white. And I wish that for what this was, the shirt was either longer or shorter. Like it's kind of at an awkward length where it's not really cropped, but it's not really full length on me. And I think I will still keep this and wear this around the house as just like a very comfy warm thing to wear because I love a comfy warm coordinated outfit. But I don't think that I would actually like ever wear this outside of my house because of the awkward length of the shirt mostly. Now the pants fit really good. The waistband is just like a super stretchy waistband. None of this feels like it's like super high quality. I do think eventually this would probably fall apart. And overall, I do like how it looks with the exception of just where the shirt ends. And those are all the things that I bought from Airy this time. Now you will have to let me know what things did you like? What did you hate? because inevitably there's gonna be something you don't like and I wanna know that too. And in your opinion, what do you think I should keep? So far, the only things that I'm like, wow, I absolutely have to keep that are the offline chunky chenille sweater, the leggings, and that little green halter top. Everything else I'm kind of like, mm, it could go either way. Oh, and the shoes. I'll definitely keep the shoes. By far my least favorite thing I think was that orange little like jacket. I know so many people are going to think that that's super cute. Maybe not in that color, but will think that like the style of it is cute. I think that those types of things just don't look very good on me because I'm so short. And when you see me in person, especially like I have a full length mirror before I leave my house just to like make sure my outfit looks cute. And every single time I put on like a giant oversized jacket, I'm just like, wow, I look like a kid wearing her dad's jacket. And I'm not sure why. And let me know if I'm wrong. Maybe you disagree. You think it was really cute. I would love to know your opinion like always. And with that, thank you very much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the big red subscribe button found down below. I do post two videos per week. I am also hoping to start streaming on Twitch later in the month of January. I will announce when that is going live on my community page. I'll make a little community post about it and let you know the schedule. And if you want to pop by, great. And if not, that's okay too. Now, once again, I hope that your entry into the new year was good. I hope you weren't too hungover after New Year's and I hope that I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.